Hello, this is Brother Kumar from the Maths Department. This is a supplemental video dealing with SPSS commands for inference for one mean sigma unknown. And these are the three commands that you should know in SPSS for one sample t or one mean sigma unknown. First, we have to deal with the explore command, and we've seen that before, but I'll cover it. I'll cover it again anyways. Then also cover the one sample t command in SPSS. And then finally wrap it up with histograms, is what you've seen before. So let's start off with the explore. What I'll be doing throughout this is use the, let's just use the body temperature data. So for instance, if I wanted to do the explore command for this, I'll do analyze, descriptive statistics, explore. And I'll take the, I'll, let me reset this, I'll take the body temperature here. And then if I wanted to, now here you can actually do a confidence interval. Um, and you can place a level of confidence here. I won't worry about that, so you can do that. Um, also, if you need to do percentiles, you can click on that as well. Just do that anyway. But then the main thing I want to mention here is with plots, if you click on plots, you can get a histogram here. But also the main thing is to get normality plots or tests. This is how you can get your PP plot. So you click on continue, and then you click on OK, and then voila, you have a whole bunch of different information here. You have the descriptives here, including a confidence interval with a mean, a standard deviation. I clicked on percentile, so you can get the, you can get the complete five number summary here. But also here's a histogram, as well as uh, the QQ plot that you need to check for normality to, to uh, check for the for the requirement that so uh, that the distribution of sampling means are normal. Okay, and then lastly here is a QQ plot. And the second thing I want to mention is how to do a one sample t test. So let's go back to this here. Uh, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to analyze compare means one sample t. And so let me reset this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in body temperature. Now this is kind of the tricky part with this. If you had, if you're doing a hypothesis test, you have to put the null hypothesis right here under test value. So I'm going to put in the, the null hypothesis that we did was 98.6. Okay. Now what you can also do, you can also change your level uh, of confidence here if you wanted to. We're going to ignore that here. But if we click on OK, then we will get our results down here. Here is our test statistic down here our degrees of freedom, and our p-value. Well, it's usually our p If this is a two-sided test, I mentioned in the previous videos, this would be our p-value. However, if this is a one-sided test, then we have to divide this number in half. Now, in this case, the number is close to zero, so close to zero divided by two is still close to zero. However, we can't really do anything to this right here. What we need to do is, is that if we're going to get a confidence interval, use the one-sample t-test for a confidence interval, or the one-sample t-command, in SPSS to do a confidence interval, then what we do is we put this at zero, test value at zero, and then run it, and then we can get a confidence interval here. So in summary, for the one sample T, you have to use, to do the hypothesis test, you have to put in the null hypothesis here, but if you're doing a confidence interval, you leave this number at zero to get a confidence interval, okay? And then lastly, the last item to, to, that you can use for uh, one mean, or inference for one mean sigma unknown is a histogram. And this is a review, but we will do it anyway. And so the body temperature data, again, will be graphs like you see dialog histogram. And then you just take the body temperature, put it in variable, uh, the variable box, click on OK, and then you see your results. And that is the histogram. And that concludes the SPSS video for dealing with uh, the subject of inference for one mean sigma unknown.